What is up everybody? Josh here again and today we have a patch number 14 for Sons of the Forest. They've added a ton of new buildable items, new cannibal, new caves, artifacts, so many changes, fixes, three brand new traps available, and new buildable items including this little double bed here. We're going to show you where to find everything and how to craft it. Let's get into it shall we? So this is the Forest Patch 14 brings arrow upgrades, new blueprints, new cave, and so much more. Hey everyone, this patch adds a new cave along with the second to last question item or artifact, findable item. They also added the ability to craft explosive fire, shock, and poison arrows along with this. There are five new findable blueprints in the world and two new structures added to the book. They also added some new story note pickups and the ability to view previously collected notes via a stat cap and inventory there's also a bunch of new points of interest and pickups added to the map as well as new details and decorations added to many of the cannibal villages in the world finally they added a new cannibal type the igor and tweaked the muddy cannibals ai so they now prioritize eating instead of attacking and fixed and improved a bunch of other things listed below as always continue to post your bug feedbacks and report in the discussion areas of their community hub and as always every week we're gonna go through and show you all all these new features that's listed right here and go over the other sections briefly as well first up we have a huge list of items and arrows that you can craft here if you just kind of go into your inventory and look at or hover over the wheel there you should see it you should see the 3d printed arrow carbon fiber arrow explosive stone arrows fire 3d printed and carbon fiber fire stone and all the poisons and shock versions so basically you can make a explosive fire and shock version of all the arrow types and if you just add for example we have some arrows here they're in the top of your black box here and of course the orange one as well you'll see up here you have the carbon fiber arrows the 3d printed arrows stone arrows if you just add one of those to your mat there you'll see in the scroll wheel here what you can craft with it we have explosive fire poison and shock and the mats related to those we'll make one of those and kind of shoot of each one so this is the explosive version just pretty much swap out whatever arrow type you want to build with it takes wires circuit board four arrows two batteries a c4 brick and then you can craft it then when you craft it, it looks like it goes up into the top of the containers here of the orange and black containers fire is super easy with one vodka bottle and four arrows if you're choosing and the cloth to do poison arrows you'll need an anamita two snowberries and four arrows of your choice and to make electric shock we're going to take two batteries four arrows of your choice a circuit board and some wire and you can make variations of every single arrow type and they will stack next to that arrow type up in the box there which is pretty neat so all these are the carbon fiber arrows and now we're making some 3d pennant arrows so first up is the explosive arrow i missed that didn't kill him Next, we have the fire arrow. Oh, you have to light it first. Hold L. That makes sense. Nice. So just hold L and you'll light it. Also got the poison arrow there. And we also see some of the new mutations or deformations on the faces of the cannibals. Here's one of them right now. And looks like it just got knocked down by poison. Alrighty, and next I have the shock arrow. Or lastly. <laughs> oh, I killed him. Let's try not to headshot him. And there's another example of a face deformity. Just one eye swollen. Also, there is some new pickups, and they have made some changes to the ice caves. Right here, we are at the ice cave and pretty much in the middle of the map here. And once you go into this cave, you're going to notice that it is now kind of blocked off with 
logs that we didn't place. Oh, sorry. And you'll notice a few changes in here. Looks like somebody tried to build in here. And a new pickup. It says the piece isn't here. This is the wrong cave. The others are resting below. You'll also see some air tank and there is a way down here that we're gonna go. Some cloth. And a box you can't destroy. So you're gonna go head down. And it looks like after that, we're gonna head down again. And in this room, we will notice that there are bodies draped with the tarps down here and there's a battery down here. And down here, you'll find one of your very first blueprints. And this is what they meant when they meant the others are below. Pretty much there's a bunch of dead bodies down here, some caskets and some more people draped in tarps and, and whatnot. But here's the other ice cave and actually where you go to get this. Yeah, it looks like it's all the way south and there's a little cave entrance right here. We're going to head inside here. And once you come down the ramp here, you're going to see the skeletal dude here and he'll have another blueprint for another trap here. And that's what it looks like. And here is the final ice cave. It is located right here. Looking like it's on the middle of the island there. Next to a little lake there. And this cave actually just has a pickup in it. But it is a change to the ice cave. And there is a way down there, and that's how you get to the pickup. Once you're at the bottom here, you'll see some more skeletons with tarps on them, which is pretty neat. And down here at the bottom, you'll see it looks like two worlds, maybe, or blue. We're at the next location that you need to go to for an unlock. This is a new area or new cave that's underneath this little fishing village here. So what you're gonna do is you're gonna break into this area right here. And this is right here on the side of the, the luxury bunker or where you in the game. On the same side of the island with the big lake up, kind of up north below the golf course. And you'll head into this and you'll see down below here there is a way to destroy and go underground. It's kind of like a bunker type deal. And this is uh, unfortunately the new cave light. Uh, you do have to go through here. And you'll notice a whole new area down here. A bunch of dead bodies, some skeletons, barrels, stuff like that. And then here you'll notice a new pickup. And it says, we found it. It broke into six parts. I've killed the others. So basically that's the artifact and it's referencing six pieces to the artifact. Back in here, you'll see there's like a dining area. Really neat stuff. So that is a new pickup and a new small cave or underground area. It also leads down into the cave part here, which you have to break and go through and then climb down. Once you come down that rope, you'll come to a new cave. I don't believe I've actually ever seen this cave before. You're gonna swim around in that water until you come to a ledge here that leads up with a ramp or little boards here, and then you can smack these boxes and open them if you want. Also back in here, you got some skeletons that'll fall. And then we can bust through a next area here in this cave. Very easy cave to kind of navigate. Bust through again. One thing you'll notice right here on this little entrance though is there's a little gold cross, which is pretty neat. And you'll just go through and go down. And this is the new artifact location. You'll see the artifact over there. There's some water back behind here, which leads to a blueprint, which is a really, really nice trap. And we'll show you that shortly. The other direction, you'll see a bunch of 
golden skeletons and the artifact and grab the new artifact we're at the location for the third and final trap for the night and it's actually located right here on the map kind of like down below the golf course there and at this cave You'll see like a little cave right here. The road splits into a Y. But inside of here, you'll notice that you'll see on the table, there is a new blueprint for another trap. And it's kind of like a blade trap. And the last unlock or blueprint that you can find this update is on the west side of the island here. You'll see the giant lake right there and just kind of follow it west from there. And inside this middle building here, you're going to notice that on the table next to some sulfite and some light bulbs and across, you find the last blueprint, which looks like a light or a spotlight. So let's go make all these for you so you can see them. So here's a few of the in-world biddables that you can make. This is the new double bed. And all you got to do is hit B and bring up your notes there go to furniture and at the end of furniture number six you'll see double bed right next to it you see the new spear stand and same thing it's in the the build video as well all you do is hit b and go to storage all the way at the end you'll see a spear rack for 10 sticks something else that was mentioned that they now drape tarps over stumps kind of like this right here this one just kind of randomly spawned coincidence really and also on skeletons, which we've seen in the caves earlier. The very first buildable we'll go over is this one right here. This is the light we found. And all the buildables that you find, of course, are gonna be in your notes. So just need to go to the bottom one here, notes, and go towards the end till you find it. This right here is a whirlwind trap, an arrow trap, and a crondon trap. And then of course we have the clock and the light. Those are all the new unlocks that we just showed you how to get. And this is what the light looks like at night. It's not really that bright, kind of like a little fog light. Next up, we have the clock of sorts. And the clock is its quite interesting. It actually does tell time. So as you can see, it has X for 10 and two little sticks for 12. So it's 12. And then it goes to 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. X, the X right there is 10, 11, and then 12. So it actually does tell time and tells you what time of day it is, which is very, very useful. And this is the, I don't know, we'll call it the helicopter trap. And we're going to drag the cannibal to the trap. Oh, and he got pulverized. And then you just hit E to reset it. So once a cannibal gets close to this, it will destroy it. And this is called the demonetization trap. Oh god! Uh already, let's see what it can do. We got a few cannibals here. Oh god. Um. Ah! So yeah, it kind of just grinds up bodies. Like so. <laughs> and the skeletal head up top kind of just jiggles, which is pretty fun. Just hold E to reset it. And finally, we have this, the little spear trap. And it is the trap that you make with spears and you can actually sit there and have it where if cannibals go over this line, they'll trip it and it'll shoot them like so, or you can actually sit there and fire it yourself. Like so. And then you can reload it by holding or hitting C when you have spears in your inventory. And we have some cannibals here. As we see, it crosses the line, it's shot off. Oh, some really, really neat traps that they added. Or some... <laughs> Doesn't look like you could trip it, though. But there's some really, really neat traps they added this week.
Um, they also added a option, so whenever you go into your inventory, you should now be able to see a item or a question mark that says notes. It's a item that you can see all the notes and you can toggle them by hitting Q or R going to the next one. And these are all the notes that you can see or have got before and you can go back and look through them if you wanted to. There's also a new animation for making the GPS locator. So next we have the Igor, and this is the brand new NPC that they added this week. And it's really, really crazy looking. We kind of got it in a staged mode here. So you can kind of see it up close and personal. And it'll also sit there and attack you like so. And if you're far away from it, sometimes it'll charge you. Like so. And they also stated they added many changes to the various cannibal villages. And Mondays will now gather to pray at their own effigies. And they also now prioritize food over everything else. We're going to go ahead and skim over the improvements section. Looks like they added some more deers and land turtles to the far side of the map. Twins can now get electrocuted. And when in multiplayer, whenever you see another player skin something, you'll actually see them pick up a knife and skin it and put it in their hands. And they added some more fog around the map. And they mentioned the poisonous status that characters can now get as they lose health and energy and sometimes get injured and stop attacking when poisoned. And multiple poison effects do stack. And if a cannibal has a torch while it's carrying one, it'll drop it on death. And when you dismount your Knight 5, you'll be able to re-equip your previous weapon automatically. They also added some pipe effects and drips to the food corridor in the balance section. They reduced the baby attack damage from 15 to 10. Here's one of the best changes they've made. The animation for the player retrieving their backpack after a death has been sped up and shortened. And this is what that looks like. Yes, much faster. Also on sleep interruption, players now sometimes see multiple enemies close by and mass cannibals sometimes get out of breath. And if you shoot a body, a dead body, with a fire arrow, it will turn to bones. And just like me, when muddies eat, they reduce their anger. And we'll just skim over the fix section. Looks like trees will now fall properly in multiplayer when destroyed with explosives. And the twins can't climb out of a bunker floor anymore. So they also fix the carrying gold mask enemy, not showing the mask. And the pistol reload animation from bows. When you break driftwood, it shouldn't respawn. And now radios are now synced. They weren't playing in sync before, or not playing at all in some cases. Several multiplayer fixes, it seems like. And over in the audio, it looks like they fixed an audio for stepping on large piles of gore and stepping on gore. And a sulfite or pickup event. And that's really it for this update. Really nice update. Thank you so much to the Late Night Crew, KHX, Sergio, Wolfie, Sandy, Silver, John, EMC2, Rod Knob, Novocaine, Aaron, Hong Po, Daddy Bob, Jim K72, and Kristen. Thank, thank you so much you. for being part of the Late Night Crew, and here's your shout out for you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So thank you for watching. Don't forget if you like what you see to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel. Subscribing will get you Sons of the Forest updates just like this one, and content videos whenever those come out as well. And hopefully, we'll see you next time. Peace.